Hi everyone, it's Marissa here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this look on my eyes right here and a little bit of my face. So this has been one of my favorite, all time favorite looks to show you guys. So anyways guys, this look is Kim Kardashian inspired and I really hope you guys do enjoy this look. And with that being said guys, if you guys do like my channel and like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you you want to if you enjoy my content and with that being said I'll see you all in just a sec so for today's look it is Kim K inspired um, but I don't have the Kim and Mario eyeshadow palette so I am gonna be using my Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette this guy right here I'm getting darker the palettes getting lighter now I'm light again the first color that I'm gonna be starting off with is this color right here just throwing that right in the crease to start off. This is gonna be kind of like our transition shade, except we're only gonna be using like two colors in the crease. So this really, really, really sticks out. As you guys can see on this side, it is definitely like a prominent color in the look. The next shade I'm gonna be taking is this shade right here. It's like this burnt or kind of red shade. It's right in the middle of the palette. I'm going to be taking this and also putting it right directly in the crease, right on top of the color that I just used. So we're just, whoa, that's a lot of pigment. <laughs> so we're just throwing that right in the crease as well, just to deepen up the crease. The next shade we're going to be taking is this dark blue right in here. And we're just going to be throwing this all over the lid. And we're also going to be using my NYX Glitter Primer. Now this is just so that way the blue can be a little bit more pigmented. We're just going to put it all over where we kind of put the blue and did our little wing. We're going to put this so that way the eyeshadow can stick on a little bit better. And look a little more pigmented. So right now I'm just putting the NYX Glitter Primer on as if I'm cutting my crease. Then we're going to dip into the blue and just pat it on. So we're going back in with the same two colors that we took previously. So this one right here, this guy, and then uh, this one right here, this middle one. So we're going to be going in with both of those and we're taking a smaller brush. We are literally just going to be buffing this right underneath along the lash line and definitely smoking it out because we want it to be a little bit more of a smoky look. Then we're going to be taking our second shade and doing the same exact thing to just darken it up. So put that right on top and smoke it out. And the next thing we're going to be taking is a black eyeliner. Um, this one's like a little baby one because it has been totally used. It is the Rimmel London one. And we're just going to line our waterline. And you can do it very messily because we are going to be smoking it out like this side. And also tight line. Alright guys, so after that we are going to be taking this black shade right here. It is the only black shade in the Jaclyn palette. And we're going to be taking this brush. It is just like a flat, a really flat brush, just like this. And we're going to be smoking out the bottom lash line. Um, not necessarily the eyeliner, but I mean I guess we can kind of drag that down just a little bit. But we're going to be kind of smoking it out. So I will show you guys how I do it. So with this brush, got a little bit of black on it, I'm just going to go in back and forth motions. 
cream, you're just gonna keep on dipping into the black. very very light handedly go back and forth and bring it down go back in with the brush you took earlier with the two colors that we took previously mix them together and buff out the edges of the black I'm going to be taking my Carly Bible eyeshadow palette and we're going to be taking this highlighter shade right here. It is the white shade. Put it right on the inner corner. We're also going to put some of that shade right on the brow bone and just blend it out. Gonna be putting on a little bit of my Clinique High Impact Mascara, this guy right here. I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be bronzing and using blush today. I'm gonna be taking my uh, Milani Baked Bronzer in the fi in, can I get it together? Get it together, please. In the shade 05 Soleil, so this one right here. I'm just gonna throw this on my cheeks to bronze up my entire face. So now that my face is so much more bronzed, which as you guys can see, it definitely looks a lot better. Um, I am going to be taking my Lorac Tantalizer, Tantalizer, Tantalizer bronzer. This one right here looks like this. You can see all of my setup. Sorry. Uh, it's mirrored. This one right here, this side, and I'm just going to be taking that with my Real Techniques contour brush. right in the cheekbone. I'm actually contouring with this bronzer. And I know that Kim K always has like a super um, contoured face. I mean, it's literally just her face, but I'm gonna try to contour my face as I feel like she would. Just a tiny bit on the forehead since the forehead is so bronzed already. Going in with a smaller angled brush, I am going to be putting that, putting a little bit under the lip to give the illusion of a bigger bottom lip. And I'm going to be putting this under my nose, heavily under my nose, so that way it can look like my nose has a little bit more of a lift upwards. And I'm going to be also putting this on the sides of my nose for a contour. It's really hard to contour my nose because I have a really skinny nose that goes outwards instead of like a fat nose that goes inwards. So it's hard to contour my nose and make it look like Kim K because it just absolutely does not. Taking my airspun powder, I'm just going to put a little bit on the sides of my nose to sharpen my contour on my nose and right in the middle of the contour just like that so you should have something like this I look a little bit more bronzed and I'm just also going to be taking my airspun powder and just carving out my cheekbones <sighs> to create the illusion of a curved cheekbone Taking my Narcissist um, Contour and Blush Palette, I don't know what shade, like what the name of it is, but I'm going to be taking this shade right here, this dark pink shade, just tapping into that, and going right over the cheeks, putting the blush on as you would normally. 
really not that serious and not that complicated. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to be taking is my Mary Luminizer Highlighter, this one right here. Now I am just going to be taking a very little bit because I already have so much going on in the eyes. I don't really want like a ton of highlighter on, so literally that's it. Okay, well, I'm going to do more than that, but okay. Stop, Risa. Stop. Okay, there. There. That's it. That's all I'm going to be doing. <laughs> right on the tip of the nose like I always do alrighty now I have two different options for my lip pencils that I'm gonna be using today <sighs> why am I talking like that I have my bare minerals uh, don't know what color that is but it's a nude and then I have my Rimmel London O49 natural I'm gonna try these two out. I'm gonna be taking my Better Minerals one first and seeing how that one works and plays out. If not, I'll be taking the other one. But I feel like a nude will go good with this um, particular eye look because it is a little bit wonky, a little bit crazy, a little bit out there. Cam always wears nude, so I wanna wear nude. I feel like it'll be fitting. Let's try it out. I'm going to be taking my Aroma London one now and drawing right in the middle. The other one was like the tiniest bit too dark, so I'm just going to be putting this one right on top. Kiss Never Touch Up Setting Spray. Alright y'all, so this is the finished look. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Um, I know that this is actually one of my all-time favorite looks that I have done. I never realized how dark blue looks really, really nice on brown eyes. Like, I never noticed that. So if you have brown, I mean, if you have any colored eyes, this would look amazing on you. But if you have dark brown eyes or brown eyes in general, this is going to look so amazing on you. Like I'm just loving the way they look together. I hope you really enjoyed this video. As I said before, if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you guys have not already. If you guys don't want to subscribe, that's fine. But um, I'm asking that you guys do subscribe to my channel if you guys do like watching my content. And with that being said, guys, I was See you all in my next one. Bye.